Decision Brain provides optimization powered planning, scheduling, and logistics software solutions. Today, we're going to see a very simple example of how the software could be used to do planning and simulation for offshore marine logistics. Imagine you're drilling for oil or natural gas and some of your operations are offshore. You've got a fleet of ships that might look like this. They're moving people, construction, equipment, drilling mud, and of course the final product from ports to offshore platforms or back. But this is a really expensive operation to run, so you want to try to operate as efficiently as possible. That's where planning software comes in. But why do you need software anyway? Can't we just use Excel? It depends on the complexity of the problem. Let's take a look at an, opera at an operation I'm going to demo in the Mediterranean. Let's say I operate out of two ports, Marseille and Geneva. I have a fleet of 11 vessels and they're serving 11 production platforms that are grouped into zones, as well as two drilling platforms. Offshore logistics planning in the real world is hard because you have to comply with many different rules and constraints. These limit your choices and add a lot of complexity to creating a good plan. For instance, in my demo, here are some of the constraints that I set up in the system. For example, production platforms only operate at certain times of day. Some ports have capacity limitations. The business requires certain numbers and frequencies of visits per week. And there may also be space limitations or other constraints on what can be loaded on which vessel or manpower and certification or skill requirements. Now, this is a very simple demo system. For our production customers, the list of rules and constraints and the size and variety of the data is a lot bigger than what you see here. But for now, let's jump into the demo. So I actually asked it to run given my data. And if we take a look at the data in the system, so I have data about my ports and my vessels and my platforms. So for instance, I have the names of my platforms and what type of platform they are, how frequently they need to be visited and some other parameters. And I can directly edit these values here so that I can test out different scenarios. But for now, I'm just asking the software, please create an optimized schedule and try to as efficiently as possible fulfill all of my work demand. And the schedule that it produced actually only scheduled two, three, four, five, six vessels out of the 11 I have available, which helped keep my costs down. And you can see that for each platform, you can see the schedule, I should say for, for each vessel, you can see the schedule when it departed, when it was in transit, where it was loading and how long the, the loading took, and then in this case, it was in transit back to port and then unloading. So this particular vessel made a single stop trip. This next vessel took a longer multi-stop trip as we can see. We also have our different business key performance indicators on the top. So in this case, I might be interested in seeing how many of my trips were single trips through the week. What is my service level, travel time, idle time, efficiency metrics, and cost. So what if the business comes and says to me, you know what, one of my uh, platforms, instead of visiting it, visiting it once a week, I am going to change it and I need to visit it daily. So I actually created that scenario already. And I made the Anton drilling platform require daily visits. So if I go back to my schedule, which I ran in advance, I can see now more of my vessels have been scheduled. In fact, I went up from six to 10. And if I wanna compare the two scenarios with all of my KPIs, I can choose the comparison here. And I can compare the original schedule to the one where Anton gets daily visits. And in this case, I see that it requires ten, uh, four additional vessels, as I mentioned, which increases our cost. So that KPI change is red. And you can see the impact on the different KPIs. I might also decide, maybe I wanna test out if there's a wind weather slowdown, for instance. So I could say, I wanna also, again, do multi-stop, but let's pretend there's a 10% slowdown 
in travel time? What impact will, they ha will that have? Can I still do the same amount of work with the same number of vessels? So let me compare to my original Anton daily schedule. And we can see that it actually caused us to have to use one additional vessel, which did raise our costs. And by the way, our cost calculation here is relatively simplistic. We can get as sophisticated as we want. In this case, we've got a fixed cost per vessel plus uh, an incremental cost for, per distance traveled based on fuel. So in conclusion, logistics planning can often be a lot harder than one might think. We at Decision Brain are experts at delivering fully custom logistics planning systems that leverage really powerful mathematical optimization to solve some of the hardest planning and scheduling problems in the world. And one last thing about our decision support software systems. This type of AI technology is not about taking control away from human planners. Instead, it's about humans and machines collaborating to be able to take a more data-driven approach to decision-making and to fully understand the impacts of our decisions in terms of the KPIs we care about. Thank you for watching.